welcome to this Blitz tutorial. Today we're going to be importing a BI Publisher report. And we're going to do a little modification to it uh, and then we're going to share it uh, with our users. Okay, let me just um, close that. Um, Blitz report is on all of the responsibilities. Um, so if you're a developer, then you've got development mode. If you're a user, then obviously you can only run reports. I'm going to open Blitz report here. Uh, I'm in the costing uh, module and I'm going to click on setup because I've got development capability. I'm going to import um, a BI publisher report. In this particular case, it's called the all inventory uh, report and I'm going to import that now. This will bring in uh, all of the um, the SQL that's uh, within the package, the costing package here, the standard package from Oracle. Uh, you can actually open that package and have a look at it if you're interested. Uh, within there, you can see the original uh, SQL package from Oracle uh, with all its uh, lovely formatting. Uh, we're not going to do that. We've got our SQL in here anyway. Uh, it's brought the uh, parameters across and uh, the report assignments are there as well. So in terms of development, you, you haven't really got to do much. We're, we're about 95% through the process, I would say. Um, we're going to go ahead and run this in its, uh, in its standard format. Um, in, in here, you see all the parameters uh, are available. Uh, we'll click and run. Uh, and it will send the output through the concurrent manager into Excel. This is uh, the report, very similar to the Oracle one. We'll just do a quick comparison. Uh, they keep the, some of the header detail in there, which is a little bit annoying when you're trying to work with spreadsheets. Um, and, and a lot of the times Oracle, Oracle are doing sort of parents and child, making things not really workable with Excel. Hence, it's a lot easier to bring them into Blitz report, rework them, and then give them back to the user uh, without having to, to spend days working out uh, XML code and so on. Um, so I just detected there, we've got an extra column, um, which I can elect to either, so if we go back to the setup, uh, if we then, we can change uh, the column, remove it here, or indeed that we can remove it, remove it in an easier way, which I'll show you using uh, templates, which is available for both the developer and the user. And what that looks like is uh, very much like here. Um, you have, uh, this is the column, the offending column. We've got the arrows where you can move columns up and down across uh, to make them either available or displayed. Um, you can multi-select, you can move things up, down. So from a user perspective, um, it's, it's very much giving them the, the capability of displaying the report in the correct order. Um, and obviously that's uh, to their preference. But as a developer, you would save a template, you can share that. Um, and then it could be that the users don't do any further work. Um, so let's uh, run it now and just check that we've got everything we need uh, and that we've got our column removed. So there's the old one and now there's the new one as presented through the concurrent request. Uh, you can see those up uh, in the standard way view, view requests. Um, I'm just going to add an additional parameter because uh, somebody's requested that we add an extra parameter to the report. Very straightforward thing to do, just simply down arrow and you can reuse uh, all of the parameters that are available. I'm interested in uh, organization code, uh, which I know happens to know is the warehouse and I'm going to bring that across uh, here. Um, tab into the anchor point and I'm going to just change that to match uh, organization um, and then save the record. So that's all you have to do for, for a parameter, all very straightforward. I say you can create your own or you can reuse existing ones from all the other Blitz reports. Um, now within the assignments, as I mentioned, you've got the ability to assign to a user, etc., cetera, um, or to an application or request group. Um, let's go ahead and rerun that now. We should be able to see our new parameter. There it is. We've got the ability now to select uh, from different warehouses if we want. I've also put in a default. Um, I'm going to rerun this now um, just to make sure it works. Um, and then uh, again, we've got our report, which we can reconcile, make sure it's uh, in line with the standard one. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back at this point and I'm just going to show you something else. So it could be now that you want to say, OK, I've done a basic sanity test uh, and now you want to. Uh, on the 9th, 4th, 20, 
So there's your uh, version control. Um, it could be now that, okay, you want to um, put this into another environment. So indeed, what we would do is we'd export this and we can export it as a report, XML, and this will go to your local uh, download directory or wherever you've got set up uh, to, to do that. I'll close that away. Um, and so there's our development in a, in a nutshell. Um, if we were to uh, bring in that report uh, into our new environment, so let's say we moved it into a system integration test or UAT, then simply you'd come in here and you would import. Um, so, okay, it would say, what, what are you going to import? And you say, well, it's uh, XML. And I need to then select my file, which I will browse and find it from my download and then simply submit that. The procedure will then bring in the new version of the Blitz report and there it is for us. So um, just to recap what we've done, step one is obviously you need to install Blitz report. Step two is we've imported the standard BI publisher report. Step three, we've tested it, made sure it runs okay. Four, we've added a parameter. And then five, we've uh, done some version control and we then shared it uh, between different environments. And that's all done within, well, less than 10 minutes. So you can see the speed at which you can develop uh, these reports or make changes. Um, and, you know, the software is available, Blitz software is available uh, free to try for your first 30 reports. Um, so why not come over and, and visit us on the Genetic site and download and install Blitz report, try it for yourself, or indeed go on to the, the uh, demonstration environment on our uh, local homepage. Uh, we've got a number of blogs on, on uh, our, our resource blog channel, and we've also got uh, the YouTube channel where this video will be stored. Okay, that's all uh, I'm going to show you for today. Thank you for taking the time. Um, goodbye from me.